Hey everybody, it's David Wilkes, and for the last seven to eight years that I've been in the transport business and working on boats and doing custom builds, there's one place in the state of Florida that is my go-to for everything that I need. And here we are, Marine Connection Liquidators. Now, the reason why this is really, there's the man, how's it going? We're making a video for my YouTube channel. Hey, it's good to see you. You too, buddy. You too. Jake, tell you about the boat? Yeah. yeah oh, no, I've it's been awesome. And stuff like that. It's it has been cool. awesome. An absolutely amazing experience. And yeah. Patrick's like sending me pictures of this whale they, they chased down a yeah. day ago. Now he's off again. That's how awesome this place is. I mean, you, 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 when you come here, you're like family. And that's why it's my go-to. Let me get back to the information about this place. If you're building a boat, if you're restoring a boat, if you bought a boat that was a hurricane damage boat and you want to, because usually it's the T-top and it's the upper structures that fail on those. So if you look around, there's all sorts of T-tops. There's structures everywhere. Um, if you're building a boat, you've got these T-tops over here to my, to my right. Um, and you've got the center console. So you can custom build anything that you want. If you've got dockage, and you've got problems with your docks. I got dock ladders, ropes, everything, dock boxes. I mean, we can walk around this place for hours, hours. So, you know, you can see what it is, but a lot of stuff, okay, these are all just, you know, basic modifications for your boats. If you buy a boat and you want to change a T-top or if you want a bigger T-tops, and then you'll see there's some of the production stuff over here. And those are out of, you know, a production built boat, maybe a Boston Whaler or a Regulator or a Mako or a Dodge diesel truck that's really loud and deleted. Welcome to Florida. <laughs> Let's say you got a big center console and you want to put some cabinetry in it. Look at this. Now, what this is, is they're buying new old stock from manufacturers all over the state of Florida and probably elsewhere too. They also buy some hurricane wreck boats and they disassemble these boats and you get the benefit. Or let's say Mercury runs a change on the wiring harness or something like that for a production boat. Well, the companies out here like Boston Whaler, whatnot, you know, Everglades will have those in stock, but they can't put them on the boats. Well, then that's where you get the benefit because you're buying a brand new part that will work on your boat or maybe work on a boat that you're upgrading or repowering or changing it from Yamaha to Mercury like I've done or Mercury to Yamaha. Both ways it works. And now you can get the parts you need. Now the new parts and maybe the, the superseded change in the wiring harness may be a little bit different for what your use is, but nine times out of 10, or actually I would say 99% of the time, it's, it's a running change because of some calibration changes they made on that particular model, and that's why the manufacturer made the change. So anyway, let's go. I need one of these. One of the hardest things to find is stainless. Now, a lot of times when you need parts and stuff like that, you can go to Lowe's and you get some stainless fasteners, but look at it. It's when you need stuff like this. What kind of hinge do I want to put on my boat? What kind of hinge did my boat come with? It's all right here everything this is electrical stuff i mean look at it brass these are the relays i mean a lot of this stuff's hard to find because it's specialized for marine use only you know these big rollers are awesome you know this would be great if you're building a boat and want to modify it and put you know a bow put help it on it getting the right brass for all of these fittings i mean we're still only on in the first row and we haven't even gone all the way down you know these are new these are awesome for Another boat, <laughs> once again, stainless, screws, fasteners. If you're building a boat and you wanna change from the top cleats, they have pop-up cleats for different manufacturers, all different styles, everything you can imagine right here. They have thousands of these, okay? Thousands of those. I think at West Marine, these little pop-ups like this are like $90, 30 bucks here. I have a remote fueling system in the back of my truck. So I put one of these in my topper and I love these types of gas caps. It has a lanyard on it. I say gas cap, it's a diesel cap. The skater had these and they were bad, but look at that spring loaded, you know it's latched on. There's a lot of new boats and they have these specialized, um, they have a little recovery thing on the inside for getting the fumes. Yeah, that's frustrating. 
because they don't flow well. It takes forever to fuel the boat. They're EPA safe. They have it all here. Need anodes? Need sacrificial? It's all right here. You want to build something custom? You want to put a ski tower or wakeboard tower on your boat and then outfit it out with all the stuff? It's all right here. You need grab rails? What do you need? 20 bucks. Stainless grab rail. You're not going to find that anywhere else. All shapes and sizes. Look how easy that is. They even have the original OEM wood ones. Where do you find that for 30 bucks? You couldn't make that for 30 bucks. A lot of problems with boats are latches. A lot of times you're having problems finding the correct latch for the boat that you're working on. I mean, where do you look that up? I mean, it's not like you can get online a lot of times and people will have it. They have it here. All the different types of latches, all the different types of styles. Key lock latches with keys. All different styles, all different depths. That's a big difference. A lot of different starboard or whether you know it's made into the wood. They've got all the different ways to do it. And these are threaded so that you can adjust the height. These are through holes for water, sewage, through holes for, um, well, pretty much anything. And if you're into racing, then you know what that one right there is for. Another tow bit O-ring. Again, look at us, all stainless swivels. We can go on, we got more rows to go. Want to build you a custom railing? Bimini top, you want to build it yourself? Good to go. More latches right here. Let's get into the steering. I've been in this aisle a lot, especially working with the Mercury JPO, converting it from one system to another. Um, they've got a couple pumps right here. Then we get into circuits, circuit breakers. This is what we're doing on Kiki right now is rebuilding the electrical system so it all works for us. Everything you can imagine is right here. Accumulator, reservoirs, this is steering systems again. Um, some of these are really hard to find. Some of those are really hard to find. So if you're rebuilding a setup with twins or multiples, then you've got the adjustment rods right here to go between the engines for all different makes. Yamaha, Mercury, Suzuki. I probably would bet that they've got Honda stuff here too. These are the locks for the Verados. If you're trailing a joystick engine, they don't stay in place. And guess what? <clears throat> the engines can bounce and hit each other. This is the bracket. If you bought a Verado boat powered boat, this is the, what you need to keep the engines from moving and hitting themselves um, while you're trailering the boat. Again, more stainless fasteners, every bit of the worm clamps that you could need in any side. And you know, when you're drilling holes and you're putting snaps, look at the snap covers everywhere. I mean, again, hard to find stuff and it's all right here. Now let's get into electrical. You need some heat shrink. And this is, what's important about this wire is this is not car automotive stuff, okay? This is silver tinned wire, copper tinned wire. And what that means is that it's tinned to keep the corrosion off of the wire. It gives you an extra barrier inside of the jacketing, inside of the color of the wire, gives you an extra barrier of protection so that your wire doesn't corrode if water should wick up the wire, if your crimp, if your heat, if your, uh, your heat shrink isn't properly sealed, it gives you extra barrier of protection. And that's really important in your electrical system. Trust me, we're going through it right now. We're having to, you know, replace a lot of cables. Let's go down this aisle right here. Once again, electrical stuff. Now, who stocks windshield wiper stuff? Everything right here off of OEM boats. I need one of those for the Sunseeker. Then if you need a Glendening um, system for your shore power, right here. All the different types of cables for shore power, splitters. These things are a fortune if you go to West Marine. I mean, outrageous fortune if you go to West Marine. They're a fraction of the price here. Isolators, anything you need here. These electric switches. Most of these boxes are already ready to go. So there's a lot of parts in here that I'm telling you, chargers, water systems for fresh water pumps, everything, all your bilge pump stuff. Oh, I'm mad at myself. I'm really mad at myself. I just paid $59 for this at West Marine. It's $33 here. Fire bottle systems. I have to put 
a fire system into the engine room to take up a thousand square feet. And so they have that here and it's literally less than half price of what it would cost me to buy that anywhere else. Now here's another thing. You need to get ropes, dock lines. These sterns at West Marine are 50 bucks, $25 here. You buy them in the packs, these are $20 a pack. And these are beautiful heavy duty braided lines. I'm gonna have to buy some more ropes. Like I said, if you're restoring your boat and you need new gauges or you need to replace your original gauges because they're sunburnt, you know, their their lenses are cracked. But look, check this out. These are all autometer gauges, branded for gaff rig, Lavorsi, or whoever. But they're we all know that these are autometer products already calibrated for outboards. Like I said before, the harnesses. If you're repowering a boat or adding power or updating power, switching from a non-DTS to a DTS Mercury, or you're gonna upgrade and put engine adapters, smart craft cabling. Um, if you're taking an older two-stroke or even the Optimax engines and you wanna get more data out of the smart craft, they have everything so you can update your Mercury engines to get the smart craft data. Um, a lot of people don't know that you can add the SmartCraft data to say your stern drives, your Mercury, Mercruiser stern drives. They have all the stuff to do that right here. You know those vents on the side of the boat that are made out of plastic and they break? Here you go, bilge blowers. I mean, you guys can see what we're looking at. So this video, if you're looking for something for your boat, this is definitely a place to see what they have. So, you know, check through this video you might want to not want to watch the whole thing, but if you're looking for something for your boat, I can bet you they have it here or they can get it. That's been my experience in the last eight years. I always call Jake or I send them an email and they get, me, get back to me usually within 24 hours and tell me, yes, we got it or we can get it. And you know, the proof is in the pudding. A lot of these are older, but if you're on a budget, I mean, it's no frills. A lot of people can't buy and afford, you know, high dollar boat stuff. Here's all the fuel systems, filters, strainers. Want to put a stereo in your boat, but you don't have a whole lot of money to do so? Come grab one of these. There's some quality stuff here. I mean, 10 years ago, that was the best there was. And now, it's still, get a decent amp behind a, a, you know, a cheap head unit. JL Audio speakers for $34. What? Here's something else that fails on boats a lot. Your hatches don't open. What size do you need? I mean, <laughs> you have slides for double mounts. What size do you need? It's all right here. These little suckers here are a fortune. And I think they're like 20 bucks. Needed two of these for the Boston Whaler. Marine Max wanted a hundred, I think $110 for these things. And I think they're like 20 bucks here. <clears throat> and they have all the different adapters to make it fit. You want an outdoor kitchen, outdoor shower? Here you go, plumb it up. You want some lighting? Here you go. Everything's right here. Some of them are brand new in the box. You want to fix your trailer? Here you go. Hubs, $49. I mean, you'll waste more time and money trying to clean your bearings, repack your bearings, and buy the whole hub ready to go, fully greased. Look at this. For most of the boats that are built in Florida, or around the world. <laughs> I wouldn't say around the world, but look at this. You can put all the original gra graphics. Someone calls you sport. There you go. You can put that on the back of your car. Marine grade striping right here. Got a Mako. They got it all. Boston Whaler, Sailfish, everything. Someone sat on your hatch and cracked it. All OEM stuff. They even have some of the wood that's really, really, really hard to find on some of the top notch builds. Need to refinish it. Look at this. These are these are massive sanding discs. These are 12 inch sanding discs. 600. If you're really doing a big, big job, you don't want to go over it with just a six inch head. There you go. If you're building a boat and you don't know how to do electrical wiring and you're not that great at it, well, why reinvent the wheel? Come up with a breaker panel, a circuit breaker panel here, all ready to go. I mean, yes, there's Boston Whaler in it. Put a sticker over it. This is ready to go. You need a propeller. This isn't the only place they have props. 
there's more propellers outside. You blew your Bravo or Alpha Drive or your Volvo right here. You want to put a through hole in your cabin of your boat, you know, window, porthole window right here. I want to put a really nice big porthole right there. There's our fire system right there. Microwave right there. More gauge instrument clusters. Cooktops for a century. Say hello to Bruce. You need to put an outdoor ladder on it. You want some padding for the flooring, everything. Refrigerators, ice makers, everything right up there. I'm betting they've got what I need. Ice makers, ice makers, ice makers. More hatches, teak decking. That's some nice wheels there. Hydraulics, life wraps. That says bronze fittings. As you can see what it is, hose, tubing, everything you can think of right here. You're building an exhaust system. You want to put a through side haul, you know, like through haul exhaust. You want a side ex exit exhaust. Here's all the pieces to make it yourself. Mufflers here. These things are crazy expensive. I had to replace the muffler on the Boston Whaler I redid, the 420. More mufflers up there for large boats. This is all new old stock that's come from different manufacturers that has not yet been sorted out. These guys work tirelessly. Cables, shifters, do you know what size cable do you need? Do you know what type of motor it goes to? This whole series of tubes right here is nothing but cabling. Stacks and stacks of Teleflex cables up there. Huge, huge, huge differences of being able to get the right cable. You need the right type of wood for your boat, flooring, cabinetry, it's all right here. This is an entire aisle of just drive shafts. All the different types of seal that are used for doors, windows, and everything else. It's all right here. This is, this is a lot of times when you're trying to get your boat right and you want the doors and the windows and the hatches and all the seal, it's very hard to find the specific types of marine adhesive that's on these seals and they never really stick right or they never really work right and then here we go we've got all of the right stuff right here transmissions large engine transmissions Ooh, here's a nice little 6200 hello baby uh oh 6.2 liter 370 horsepower with the transmission heat exchangers <clears throat> windshields drawers, exhaust systems. I have four of these at the shop. They're busy down there, but this is, this is, you get an idea. If you're building a boat, if you're working on a boat, let's say you got your boat and it doesn't have a bimini top. If you know the width of your bimini top, they've got it marked here. It's 79 to 84 wide. 54 high, 96 inches long. And when it folds out, it's 96 inches long. So if you know the dimensions of what you need for your bimini top, and you know what color you want, look how easy they make it. Wood trim. Where in the world else would you find this? This is the trim pieces that go inside the boat. Always sometimes somebody kicks off. Combing pads. Let's say you bought a boat and combing pads are screwed up. You know, because a cat got in it and put their claws all over it. Here's more pieces for these tops right here. It's just an endless supply of stuff that you don't really realize it's still available. It's all right here. If you're somebody who's looking for something for a boat and you're trying to find one place that has everything, Marine Connection Liquidators. Hey, hey how's it going? It's good to see you, man. When I was building custom tanks for my boat, this place was crazy helpful in finding a tank that would fit in a space that I have. So let's say you have an older boat and you're not sure where to get stuff. And let's say your old boat, someone broke the windshield. If you have an older boat and you're looking for the glass or the framework for it, look no further. It's right here. So that's pretty much what i can share here about marine connection liquidators 
if you're looking to build a boat, if you're looking to restore a boat, if you're wanting to replace a bad fuel tank, if you got a project and you got to cut the floor out, um, just know they have crazy stuff like these little tiny tanks here. I mean, that probably fits in up in the bow. I mean, it's it's come here and you can and you can just let your mind think about what project you want to build. Okay, I need a fuel tank and it's going to fit in this little spot like that. Look at that one right there. I mean, think about somebody who had to make this. That's got a purpose somewhere. South Bay. Interesting. See, I look at this and I go, all right, where in the world did that fit on a boat? I don't know, but it sure looks comfortable. <laughs> all right, my name is David Wilkes and I wanna thank you for watching this video and watching the back of my <laughs> legs and, and me walk around and just share this. Everybody here at Marine Connection Liquidators is just outstanding, amazing human beings. I'm blessed to, to call them friends. I, I just, I can't tell you how much it's helped my business and it's blessed my business to have a one-stop location to find everything that I need or to have someone in my court to help me find what I need to provide outstanding service to my customers and my clients. Y'all have a blessed day. God bless you all and thank you for watching my video.